Welcome back to Sunday League Moments. Today, they see you away in the Devon Cup. All the way up at Willand Rovers, who they had a game postponed and abandoned against last week and the week before. This is the Devon Cup third round. So round three, attempt three. Here's a team lineup, and I'm sure there's a better way of showing this to you. So here we go. And in between the sticks today is Coops. Back four of Jake, Samip, Nick and Courtney. Midfield trio of Tom sitting with Alex and Fraser either side of him. And then up top, it's Finn, Gabe and Will. Three substitutes today and they go by the names of James, Sherrett and George. So with all that done, it's time for some strangely organised warming up and then kick off. We've held on for a minute. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, no that's, that's one minute gone. We're doing well. Yes, going a whole minute without conceding. That's a positive start as number nine gets played in there by 16 but fires well wide of Coops' goal. Coops in his green kit for the first time in a while. Dead on green giant. And... Green giant. Ball on that far side which Fraser tries to play up to Will. Alex gets in there, has a snapshot, but it's cleared only as far as Courtney, who tries to get up to Will, who doesn't make it, and then he does make it this sliding challenge, giving it back to Courtney. Right foot into Alex. Alex back into Courtney, who now runs at their right back, not really to the byline, he swings in an early cross, and it's, I think, Fraser on that far side is called as offside. Good to see AC applying some pressure, though. Ball in the middle of the park with Tom as he tries to clear his line. Only finds a Willand player on that far side. So they charge forward and then play it around Jake out there. Ball goes in, header at the near post, jumps off of Coops, back onto their striker and into the back of the net. 1 0. Willand corner now, looking for their second as it goes in. 14 heads against Finn and it's cleared away and he's to the edge of the box and it's 14 again with a chance with his left foot but that straight down keeps his throw. Throw in from Willand on this near side, headed into the area by AC, he comes to 14, who doesn't shoot this time, he gives it out to his left winger, now he shoots into Tom, Tom clears it and the, as the ref ducks out of the way and now it's with Gabe who tries to play it to Will, Will dinks it over four and then he tries to dink it over the top looking for Gay, but the defender makes it first, then Will makes it, then the defender makes it again, Will battling in again, slides in and wins a throw. Good battling from AC. From the resulting throw, Courtney tries to get it up to Tom or Will, but number eight picks it up in the middle of the park and evades the challenge from Fraser. 14 plays the ball around Nick and Jake to the left winger who squares it across and it's number nine in the middle to finish it into the back of the net for 2-0. Continued pressure now from Willand as the ball's dinked over the top in behind Nick. Will's calling for me to call it as offside but it's not as Nick manages to clear it off the line after Coops came off his line. Then the ball bounces around, Coops makes another save but this time it is called as offside. 16 on the ball here, Will wins the ball off of him and you don't really see this challenge on Fraser, all you see is him flying. Time for more sliding as Coops pumps the ball up into the middle of the park. Ball's beaten in the air as Tom wins that tackle. Fraser then misses that tackle and then Tom takes the pierce. Free kick to Willand. Willand on a counter attack now down that left hand side. The glare of the sun is absolutely horrendous as the ball's cut out by Fraser, who then shoots from a long way out for the keeper's well positioned to easily save. Another long punt out by Coops, which finds that a header over the halfway line but it's only a will and name as the ball bounces down again Coops is off of his line as the striker tries to go round him as he lays it off towards number five who tries to dink Coops but that's just well wide <laughs> Goal kick here from Coops goes up towards the halfway line, nodded on by Tom looking towards Fraser, but number five just outmuscles him off the ball. Five then steps inside of Courtney, Fraser tries to slide in as five puts a lovely ball in behind Courtney to number nine, he finishes at the near corner, and that's 3 0 to the hosts, Will and Rovers. 
Number nine in on this right hand side. Nips holding him up, still holding him up. Still shoulder to shoulder here trying to hold him up. As nine cuts inside of Nick, he's still on his shoulder as he puts the ball through towards number five. Five's cross hits Samet. Coops makes a great sliding challenge to deny the follow up and then Nick can eventually clear. Don't know how we got here, but it's Fraser and Gabe standing over a free kick, which Gabe will take into the wall. Hits the back of Courtney's heel, into Tom, who scores his second goal of the season, and that's 3-1. He'd never scored before this year, now he's got two in four. Hey, Shepard! Half time, chance to look at some league tables. This is AC's league, and it's been confirmed that this league is quite a tough one. And the top two teams in Saltash and Parkway are running away, beating everyone, and everyone in the middle of the pack seems to be beating each other. But it's been quite easy to see that AC are in quite a tough league. Meanwhile, AC's opponents today play in the Somerset Floodlit League. This is the Devon Cup, lads. Are you sure? Some are you sure? And so the second half kicks off with James and George going on for Will and Alex. Jake here beaten to the ball, but Samet gets the ball up, looking towards Fraser, who eventually makes it and then tries to play in Finn. Finn's touch isn't kind to him, however, and Will can play it out from the back as the long ball is put down the line. And it finds number five, running up against Nick. He cuts inside of Nick, fires left-footed, off the crossbar, into the path of number nine, who scores for his fourth goal of the game. Mark running a line called it as offside as the shot fired back off of the crossbar, but the ref didn't give it, and that's 4-1. Throw in from Jake on this near side, don't really see what's happening as Seven manages to get the ball. He plays in number nine, whose ball across the box was cut out, and again Mark calls it as offside. Will and aren't happy, as the, so the ref strangely goes across to him and says that because I wasn't flagging as much in the first half, he shouldn't be flagging as much in the second. Strange refereeing. Willand again coming out from the back with the ball as it's played up on that far side, over the top of Courtney, who's gone nowhere. Ah, here he is as he gets the ball off of Tommy, puts the ball forward. Don't really see what's happening there. Really don't see what's happening there. As the long ball's fired over the top, Samet leaves it for Coops, who then rounds their striker and then pings the ball upfield. Get on, Cooper. Ball with Willand again, playing it out from their centre halves as it's put in towards the middle of the park with number eight. Played up to 14 around George. 14 then plays it in towards number nine up against Samet. Number nine tries to dink Coops or put the ball across towards number five, but Coops manages to save it anyway. More Willand's pressure as seven tries to play it in towards his striker. Jake cuts it out and Samet can play it out to Fraser, who takes on number 14 and then can launch it upfield. All the way up looking for Gay, but the centre half heads it down. Tom doesn't win the tackle. He still doesn't win the tackle. George doesn't win the tackle. Nick doesn't win the tackle. Courtney and Samick just part like the Red Sea to let him run in as he squares the ball across for number nine. He finishes it into the back of the net, and that's his fifth goal of the game. 5 1. And straight after that, it's Sherritt, number four, who's going on in midfield for AC's goal scorer, Tom. Run. Strikers really haven't had much camera time in this video, so I thought I'd put this in as Fraser gives it to Gabe. Gabe straight away gives it away as, and then straight away wins it back as Jake picks up the ball. Dinks it over the top for Fraser. Fraser onto Finn. Captain Finn runs in. Number two tackles him, however, and it's an AC throw in, which he gives in to Gabe. Gabe back out to Finn and he's called as offside. Absolute genius. Corner to Willand, taken right footed, not really into the area, out of the area to number 10, who can then play it around Gabe out towards number 16. 16 then up the line. As this player goes up the line even more, all the way to the byline, taking on Courtney and Sherritt as he gets the ball in towards number 5. Number 5's header doesn't really go anywhere as Samet plays. I've only kicked Samet. A little deft swipe out at Samip, who hadn't really done anything to him, but ref's left with only one option, and that's to show the red card. <laughs> My players don't kick people. Mm -hmm. so, the second, so the hosts reduced to 10 men, but that's not really going to make a difference when number 9 runs in. Look to be offside as he rounds Coops' horrendous challenge and then shoots through Samip's legs and into the back of the net. And that's 6-1, and again, that's his sixth goal of the game. Does this lad score all of Willem's goals normally or not?
Number two now coming forward for Willand as he cuts on inside onto his right foot. Around Jake, dinks the ball over the top. Number nine in on goal again, but this time Coops makes the save with his left foot. The corner is taken right footed into the area. Four wins his header, but he heads it well, well over the bar. Roll on, roll off sub here as Will goes back on for Fraser. <laughs> Seven coming forwards with the ball for Willand as he gets around George and Jake here for strength. However, George doesn't let him go by here and certainly not here. Free kick is taken short by 14 and quickly in up towards number seven, I think that is, who cuts inside, then goes out of the area and plays it back out towards number eight. Number eight holds off Sherritt as he turns one way, then the other, then finds the overlap of his left back who plays it up the line towards number seven. And here comes Will. Ooh. <laughs> so the free kick is sent in by Willand. Four wins is heard there over Samith as James isn't looking the right way. Falls to 16 who shoots through Coops. Bobble unkind or maybe it just hit him. But finally Willand have a different goal scorer. That's seven one. Clearly that goal has affected the camera work as it's all blurry. And clearly it's affected Coops as he spills this P-roller and then picks it up at the second attempt. Or maybe he's time wasting. Time wasting at 7-1 down. Good idea. Well played. <laughs> what is the score? Eight, is it? Is it as much as that? Yeah. Six, seven, I'd have thought. About ten minutes. Ten minutes or what? Six off. Ref! Stop! Still in. <laughs> Gabe's sitting a lot deeper now, trying to get involved in the defending. His tens cross finds Samip, who carries it towards goal and Coops eventually clears as Willen picked the ball up. Courtney's gone nowhere, eights in there. James manages to take out the wrong player and then Courtney can bring it away and it's time for AC to play some passes together as Will does a nice thinking to James who with the outside of his foot doesn't find Finn. That's the most passes AC have put together in about half an hour. Now that Willand have learnt that other players can score, Ten thinks he should join in on the ad, but he fires well, well, well over the bar. More action from Willand, of course, as the free kick's taken over to Ten, who shoots with his left foot and Coops makes a great save down low to tip it behind for a corner. Well played, Coops. Corner is taken short by Willand as the player then goes round Courtney, takes him on as well, and then puts the cross in towards number 14, who heads well wide as James can let it go for a goal kick. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge George. <laughs> Number four for Willen switching the play out onto that far side. He's got James holding him up and then Courtney seems to make some run for some reason even though they have the ball. For, he cuts inside and shoots, Coops saves and number nine is on hand again to finish the rebound. And that's eight one and that's his seventh goal of the game. <laughs> and so eight one it finished to the hosts Will and Rovers. Cheers for the hospitality. We knew they were a decent side and they reaffirmed that today, but AC were resilient and without some crucial interceptions and blocks, to be honest, it could have been a lot, lot more. Good to get on the score sheet as well. 
next week or as I speak there today is activate at home but that video will be up next week because I'm a week behind with these videos even though there hasn't uh, been a game in two or three weeks before this video Challenge, George. Good challenge. <laughs> well fought. Brilliant appearance. So that's next time, and then I've got an Ardor vlog coming up as well. Topoly Doncaster, you're having a laugh. Till then, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, cheerio. Hey. Marched onto your car. They got in my clothes. They got onto the clubhouse. Yeah, food. <laughs> These guys. You've gone to get changed and Mark's nicked all your clothes.